Hey guys, Asian Sleepy here with another pickups video. Went to the Goodwill yesterday, went to the village, and also hit up a little mom and pop store that was owned by uh, this old lady and this old guy at the Goodwill. Uh, picked up a Zelda Twilight Princess official soundtrack from Nintendo Power. CDs, a little dusty, other than that it works great. That was 60 cents. Also picked up another Zelda CD and that was Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Says it was from Target. It says multimedia CD featuring Zelda wallpapers, game trailers, music samplers, Zelda trivia, screenshots, and much more. Discs in really good shape. It was a dollar eighty. Also picked up a Blu-ray uh, disc that came with that comes with the PlayStation 3s. Completely has everything in it. Thought it'd be useful, maybe someone might need it if they get a PlayStation 3 to complete it. It's only two bucks. Also picked up another copy of The Riddle of Sphinx for a Atari 2600. Uh, but this one's actually a box one. Cartridge is really clean. No dust at all. That was two bucks. The last thing I got from that Goodwill was uh, a Star Trek book, and that was Star Trek The Last Roundup. Now I really love finding these Star Trek books at the thrift stores. Uh, my collection is at uh, 410. This makes 411. So I'm always on the lookout for Star Trek books. That was 90 cents. The Village. I bought a, uh, just two things. And the first thing I picked up there was this bag. Uh, the head of Star Fox 64, the whole reason I really bought it for was that. It also has two PlayStation 2 controllers. The manual for Dragon Quest 8. And a PlayStation 3 manual. And all this cost me, because yellow was half off yesterday, was four bucks. So not a bad deal to get this all this stuff for four dollars. And those were uh, PlayStation 2 controllers. And the last thing I got there was uh, also yellow. It was half off was this Game Boy Advance carrying case. And that was 75 cents. And when I went to the little mom and pop uh, thrift store, I saw this bag full of uh, regular Nintendo manuals. And I asked the lady how much it was. And she's like, uh, three bucks. Picked it up. And the first one in there was a Super Mario Brothers 3, Gargoyles 2, or Gargoyles Quest 2, Zen the Intergalactic Ninja, Mickey Mouse Capade, Battletoads, which is awesome. Still need to get this game, but now I at least have the manual for it. Ghosts and Goblins. Marble Madness, Bionic Commando, Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, Tetris, Monopoly, Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project, another Mario and Duck Hunt, but it's missing the cover, another Mario Brothers 3, also missing the cover, Golf, Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular, now I have two of these manuals, John Elway's Quarterback, a yellow Metroid book, a really beat up birthday blowout, and RBI 3 baseball. And that also came with the NES Game Genie book. It's a little beat up, but I haven't really seen any of these around forever. So for three dollars for all that, I couldn't pass it up. And then I also noticed that they had uh, Game Gear there, and I asked the lady how much she wanted for it, and she was like, I don't know. She's like, honey, how much do you want for this? Nintendo thing. And the guy's like, I don't know, just give it to him for ten bucks. So, picked it up, and it came with a carrying case, which had a bunch of games. So it came with cleaning solution, Game Boy Advance view thing, magnifying thing, and a AC adapter for the game gear. The 
Game Gear, of course. It's in really great shape. And also came with some manuals. And that was Barton Senna's Super Monaco GP2, Sonic Chaos, Tasmania, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Miss Pac Man, Berenstein Bears Camp Adventure, Ripstar, The Lion King, World Series Baseball, and Poker Face Paul Solitaire. There was also in the back pouch, there was some uh, Game Boy game ones. And that was Mario Land, Super Mario Land 3, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 2, Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins. Glad they finally have that booklet. Super Mario Land 1, Tamagotchi, Mickey's Dangerous Chase, Donkey Kong Land 2, Donkey Kong. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2000, and Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 3. Now the games that came with it were, was a Sonic the Hedgehog 2, that Poker Face Paul Solitaire, Sonic Blast, Sonic Chaos, Tails Adventure, that Arts and Senna's Super Monaco GP2, no case. The Lion King. Tasmania. Miss Pac-Man. Another Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Legend of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. The Berenstein Bears Camping Adventure. Ren and Stimpy Game. Quest for the Shaven Yak, Taz and Escape from Mars, Garfield Caught in the Act, Ripstar, and Sonic Labyrinth. So I mean that was a steal for ten bucks. I mean I could not pass that kind of a deal up. Alright guys, I want to say thanks to all my uh, viewers, you guys just support, it really helps me. Makes me want to make more videos. I'm um, looking forward to getting to 100 subs, and then I'll have that uh, 100 sub contest up. I also plan to go to my storage unit and get some more games out so I can make another trade video for you guys. So, until next time, guys, have a good day and take care.